In this Debaco University video, I'm going to be looking at the sterile seedbed technique, which is a technique used to manage weeds on a large scale field, as we can see here in practice. All right, let's get into the sterile seedbed technique to manage weeds in a cannabis field. So first off, what does this technique involve? Well, this technique is based on allowing weed seeds just below the soil surface to germinate and then are killed prior to planting the cash crop while minimizing soil disturbance. Weeds which germinate and emerge before the crop is planted are simply easier to manage. While this process can be overlooked, it can be very effective. So what you're seeing here is we have our seed bread preparation. We're allowing some certain uh, weed seeds then to kind of germinate. We kill those off. And then by not tilling the soil, not mixing everything up, we're keeping our weed seeds down below where they can germinate and that's allowing our intended crop to go through and be the one to grow with less weed pressure. Now this basic process uh, is cultivating the soil promotes weed seed germination. Of the total amount of weed seeds present, a small percentage are uh, non-dormant and able to germinate really at any given time. This can uh, quickly and be the first these can be the quick ones and the first ones to emerge most weeds only emerge uh, from seeds in the top kind of shallow layer about top two and a half inches or so of soil and most typically emerge only in significant numbers from the top one inch of soil sterile seedbed technique works by targeting weed seeds in this shallow layer reason why seeds can germinate in this shallow area is some of them are actually um, have photoreceptors are actually light sensitive so they know if they're in that top inch they're getting some sunlight exposure uh, that's going to signal them to germinate. If they're down below that where it's completely dark all the time, they're going to remain dormant. If you go through and till them up, well, then it will start to emerge. So uh, how are the weeds killed? Well, ideally, uh, practices that minimize soil disturbance because deep tilling the weeds will not only bring up more weed seeds to the surface and essentially go against the basis for this technique. Examples include, and often preferred, will be herbicide application, a weed flamer, which can be very effective, shallow rotary cultivation, or simply a hoe. So we can see all of these uh, methods uh, can all be incorporated as part of this sterile seedbed. Small manual operation, a loop or stir hoe can be great. Larger scale, we can see these utilized. Herbicides might be possible, uh, and also uh, flame weeders uh, can also be a possible technique utilized, again, with caution. So why not use this technique after talking about all the good things about it? Well, while this technique can be effective, if you have the following conditions, the weed control percentage may not be as high as you would like. If the weeds are lengthy emergent periods, it germinate over a long period of time. If the soil conditions such as uh, moisture and temperature impacting weed emergence, particularly dry conditions may not allow for weeds uh, to germinate as an example. Unable to implement weed control when crop is growing as this can restrict multiple weed germination periods and also control. So if you have these particular situations, this may not be the best method. Uh, so again, I want to caution you to don't just commit to this. If you look at these conditions, they're very common in your area, it may not be the best method. Uh, timing the, the uh, sterile seedbed technique. So again, timing is kind of uh, important with this method. The stale seedbed technique can be initiated uh, several days, weeks, or months prior to seeding or transplanting the crop. Simply put, the goal is to kind of uh, let those weeds germinate that are in the surface, kind of kill those weeds off, let a couple more germinate, kill those weeds off without doing a massive disturbance. And the further ahead you can do this ahead of the crop, the more likely you are to germinate the weed seeds and remove those to give your chosen crop a little bit of a head start before it starts shading out hopefully the soil there. So this gives you just a little background here of the sterile seabed technique. 